Hey guys, Aaron Speaks out here with a special, special get. Are you serious right now? You're not gonna turn that off. I can't stay amigos, man. I'm gonna need to get some white friends. Special guest here, Cameron Edwards. Hey. And you're gonna be sarcastic what's, too. What's the meaning? You don't have to be on my show. What's the meaning of this? Why did you call me here? I couldn't do this story alone because uh, you're pretty much a big part of it. Actually, if you weren't there, it probably would never happen at all. It was all your fault, pretty much. So uh, here I go taking the blame. You, you are the blame. So anyway, I'll tell you guys. It was prom season last year, our junior year of high school. So you know teens out in a rush, buying their dresses, trying to get the prom date. I myself was on the run from some filthy females I should never be even Don't talking say to. that. They filthy. That's mean. So, after I got out of that hectic situation, this guy texts me, well, actually calls me one night. That's unusual. <laughs> and he says, hey, dude, I got this girl. My date's friend wants to go to prom, but she don't got nowhere to go with. We show her a great picture, and she like, it was the best. No surprise there, of course. But do you want to go to prom with her? I was like, you know, not really. But maybe I'll, if I saw some pics, I'll, you know, think over it. So he sent me right, the pics. Right, right, right. And they were actually pretty impressive. They weren't ugly. I thought it was going to be some other ratchet. See. It was actually a pretty good-looking female, I'm not going to lie. But I still wasn't trying to go to prom for some reason. So I told him, you know what, I'll think about it for you, because you're the cutty. That's what I thought. Next day, yeah, you better cut with that pillow. <laughs> the next day, he gonna come to school and tell me I'm just going to go to prom. Like, I thought he was joking. I thought it was pretty funny. I laughed. He's like, no, I'm serious. You are going. I was like, what? It was for his own good, guys. Don't make me seem like the bad guy. You going to go behind my back and tell a girl I'm going to go to prom with her before I knew nothing of it. This is how it went down. <laughs> One day, he told me he wanted to go to prom. I was like, oh, that's cool. Because my friend, uh, my, the girl I'm taking has a friend that wants to go. So I'll just hit her up and let her know. He's like, oh, cool. So I tell her, she gets all excited. She buys a dress and everything. And then, suddenly has, he has to go to Fresno. Where did that come from? I'll never forgive you for that. Where did that come from? Uh, first of all, it was Mother's Day weekend, and I was going to spend the weekend with my mother. Prom was Saturday, Mother's Day was Sunday. Yeah, we was gone for the whole weekend, Saturday to Sunday. I mean, Friday to Sunday, excuse me. How long did it take you to make that up? I didn't make it up. You want to see the pics? You want to see my pics? Not really. That didn't sound right. You gay. So, I'm in a predicament here. She messages me on Facebook, we're talking, just small talk. But this guy on the other line here, messaging her at the same time, telling her that, yeah, I'm going to prom with her, you guys are gonna have so much fun, you ought to go with him, it's really fun. <laughs> so, once again, he throws me underneath the bus. Twice in a week. So later, his girl calls him up and says that both of them want to meet us and have to spend the day with us at Yogurt Land and go to the park with us. Sounds fun, right? It, what if I knew? I don't know her. You know how awkward that is? And she expects me to go to prom with her. I know nothing of it. That's how you... See, that's why we go to blackpeoplemeet.com. You get... Well, she was white, though. Never I can't stand black people. I'm joking. I love blacks. But... <laughs> that was a bad way to put that. Don't forget we're on camera. Why are you trying to turn this on me like you are not the problem? <laughs> I'm not. I just tried to get him a date. So, good friends do that. Somebody over here had to tell her that it wasn't going to happen. Guess who that had to be? You're right, I'm not the punk. It was him. I ain't going to take the fall for nobody, so I made him do it. He's the one who got her hopes up. He's going to want to finish it, period. She, after I uh, let her off, she did not write back up that she was mad. Yeah, I never talked to her since then. You should message her. I liked her whenever things on Facebook. She probably blocked me. I broke the ice, though. You made me seem like an a-hole. Girls talk. Now I seem like an a-hole to all of them. But they went, they go to, oh, I'm about to say a school name. They go to a school way out, so it, it, it don't really, matter. their opinions don't matter. I've been way out. You know this. <laughs> oh, yeah. You just threw yourself under the bus. I already told them about that. Oh, but you, uh, true, true. 
trying to put it on me again, see? So, moral of the story is, don't have friends like this guy over here. He may have a pretty smile, but he's a devil. <laughs> He'll throw you on. Man, I can't even stand to look at you no more. <laughs> Forget you. Just call Mendoza. Better friend than you are. Can't even speak Spanish. <laughs>